Let's go. Right. Today we're making a chicken biryani. I'm going to try to give the right measurements so you get the rice fluffy and hopefully just right. Um, it's not cloggy and so on. So I've just got 700 litres of uh, basmati rice. It's a very expensive basmati rice which has been aged and you can get just normal basmati. Layla brand is very good. Um, so I've actually went out to Asda and bought myself a 45 kg jug just to show you. So basically uh, we give you the measurements of the rice, measurements of the water and hopefully we can show you the technique and with the technique uh, we go on from there. So what we're doing, um, the rice has been washed uh, about three or four times and then just soaking it in warm water so the starch, it just releases its starch uh, therefore you, you should have individual rices so when the starch is there it just gets everything together and becomes cloggy that's what you don't want if you want restaurant quality rice you'd have to try this method so it's been washed warm water about 20 25 minutes when my chicken's done that'll be just in time for the rice so, uh, i'll just uh, show you here this is i'm just cooking some chicken for service so basically it's raw chicken at the moment going to become so, in its raw state it cooks out for about 20 minutes and that will be ready now so I've got some vegetable pea here it's about half a cup I used about about four of these spoons just like that so vegetable ghee not pure ghee or anything add the garam masala so these are the cardamom pods if you smash them it's really good but I'm quite busy short of time so about six or seven of them peppercorns I just got a pinch of peppercorns and the cassia bark which is cinnamon Indian cinnamon they go in um, some bay leaf so one two three four five it's about a few small ones if you, I'll just show you over here right Shahi Zira. Now, if you're making pilaf rice here, uh, so you, biryani, you want it to be fragrant. That is very important. So you have to use these garam masalas. It's, it's essential. So that's one pinch, two good pinches of Shahi Zira, which is a human. Now you don't have to use this. I like this. It's I've got aniseed flavour. It's fennel, uh, fennel seeds. So I'm adding one, two pinches of them. I'm adding a couple of star anise. It just looks gorgeous. It also brings that aniseed flavor. It's a slight licorice flavor, sorry. It's very nice. I'm um, also gonna add a few cloves, very traditional. So a few of them. And this is the black cardamom. I'm gonna add two of them. It's quite a lot of garam masala there. Um, I'm going to add, it's called alu bukhar, which is dry plum, very traditional. Just dried out plums so it's got a bit of fruitness so you need a slight sweet acidic so it's got that tarty flavor so that's that and in that we're going to add that's about two uh, medium onions about this size and they go in there's chicken over here I'm cooking. I didn't add much water before. It's going to release water from the chicken. So I'm just going to let this cook slowly. And I'm going to put the gas down actually. So this to cook. So it's got a bit of ginger, got a bit of garlic, got, got a bit of coriander and a little bit of green chilies. So we're going to add, want a nice strong flavour, we're going to add one spoon like this. I don't need to add garlic anymore, but I will do because this paste has a little bit more ginger than garlic. So I'm going to let this cook up, let that rollness go away. 
then I'll go on to the next process. I'll add a bit of water if, if necessary, but it's fine for now. It's been about five minutes. Uh, as you can see here, everything's caramelized and the fragrance are coming out, so it's released to the oil. Now I'm adding the spices, so it's a teaspoon of everything. I'll catch it really simple. A teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of uh, turmeric, a teaspoon of garam masala, a teaspoon of coriander, one teaspoon of the Madras curry powder. That goes in. One of these chef spoons of tomato puree. There's a couple of tomatoes here that goes in. And I'm going to let this cook for a further five minutes and I'll go to the next process. I'm going to check the chicken now in the biryani. You can focus over here for me, please. Um, there you go. It's all caramelized and beautiful. I'm going to let this cook out for a further five minutes and then we're going to go to the next process. This chicken is not releasing this water as much so I'm put the gas up a bit. I can actually go rowing with this. <laughs> rowing with you, Nikita. I don't know cousin done. To cook the chicken with a lot of TLC or it's going to break to bits and that's what you don't want. So, uh, Brother Hassan, can you give me the lid for this please? Okay. Uh, the smell for this is phenomenal. So it's going to be uh, the chicken. It's been cooking for about 10-15 minutes, so we're going to go on to the next process. Just a chrome dance like here, so that goes. So, so, five minutes, done. I'm going to add some yogurt, brings in a nice flavour, marries up all the spices together. This is optional. So, one, two, Three, four, five. That's five dessert spoons. I should do the business. And that's going to release some water. So I'm not going to really use any water. I don't want to use any water. Maximum flavor I want to keep. So I'm going to cover this. Let's check on this chicken. Are you ready for this? There. That's just the natural water that's coming out from it. And yeah, my big. There, as you can see from here, it's not really breaking. But it has to be done with a bit of care. Now it's released a bit of water on high heat. And I'm just turning it so the chicken doesn't stick to the pan. plenty of time I leave it on slow gas does if you cook in a slow gas everything tastes nice but then that's if you've got time and time is essential for everybody in this modern day and age so literally a few minutes there you go I'm gonna let this cook out for about five minutes I want the water to release from the yogurt and then I'll be adding this is one medium chicken just normal chicken one medium size so it could be 1400 gram, you know, medium size. It's about 1400 gram uh, chicken, the medium size. So this is the spices and the technique for a 1400 gram chicken. I actually forgot to put some salt in. Sorry, I forgot to put some salt in. So it's a teaspoon, two teaspoon. And I'm going to put the rice in. So for the rice, I'm going to add. That's three teaspoons of salt. Um, it's been about 20 minutes. Uh, 
was 700 grams. After the water is fluffed up a bit, it's gone to 800 grams now. That's how, that's how it is. Uh, it's been a good about 10 minutes, or five minutes, five, 10 minutes um, since I put the yogurt in. Um, all the spice, everything's been, this is called the booner, so we boonered all the spices together. And the oil has risen, so you know everything's cooked now. So I'm adding one medium chicken. I'm going to let this chicken cook for about 10-15 minutes. And then we'll go on to the next process. And all the spices. And since I use, always use this cast iron, it's, it's, it's actually better than a non-stick. So it's got no chemicals or anything. And I personally, personally think it tastes much, much better because everything tastes fried. Uh, that's what you need without having that burnt taste. So it's on medium heat now. I'm gonna cook this for about 10, 15 minutes and we'll go on to the next process. Okay. It's been cooking for about 10 minutes. No water added in, so just let it, letting everything dry in the pan. So I've just been mixing it every few, four, three, four minutes, just making sure that uh, it doesn't stick. Even though it's cast iron, I don't want any burnt flavour. It's up. Right, it's been exactly about 10 minutes, uh, or 10, 12 minutes. Now we're gonna have a look. Now, can you, if you can see, there's no blood or, or a little bit of blood there. No, they just need there. There you go. Can you see this bit? So it means it's not cooked yet. So another five minutes, and then I'll have to go on to the next process. So I'll put it on a bit slower gas. It's on medium. Give it about five minutes last. And in the meantime, I've got some petit pois, or garden peas actually, slightly bigger ones. Peas ready, I'm gonna add that in. This is the dried plums called the alu bukhar, which I showed you. Alu bukhara, dried plums. It's essential this if you wanna get that authentic flavor. So, about five minutes and then we go on to the next process. Right. So the rice just drained out all the water and it's become 800 mils. So all I'm going to do now, I've just got a bigger, bigger, bigger curry pot, put it on medium heat. And I'm going to do one process now. This is pure butter ghee. big chef spoons, don't want to add too much. Now I'm going to add this rice. I, have, I just had a slight bit of water, a bit in a rush, but I should have really drained out all the water. Nonetheless, it'll be fine. Normally I would fry this, but I'm not gonna do it because I'm in a bit of a hurry. Well, here's the peas. The dried plums. Chicken's all cooked, as you can see. It smells beautiful. Look at this, it's gorgeous. Apart from 
You can have this like this, but I've added extra salt, so I wouldn't advise. Right, I originally started with about 700 and I've got 800 over here so if I use 700 grams of rice uh, sorry I thought that shows that measurements I used the same amount of water so 700 water and it had a little bit more and a little bit more so I'd add the 10% more extra I would so add this water a little mix. Some of the rice because it had a bit of the water and I didn't have time to drain exactly all the water. I can add a bit more water, but I'm not going to because um, I don't want it to be soft. I want it to stay kind of hard. So I've added actually uh, 100 ml. So sorry, I need to add one more 100 ml. Seven hundred original of rice that I added, and before I just added eight hundred of water, and I just completed that nine hundred. So it should have been about uh, nine hundred of water. So hopefully if my mathematics are right. And then I'm just going to put a lid here and let that cook. That's simply will be ready in about fifteen minutes. just want it to slightly dry up. When it's slightly dried up a bit, then I'm going to close the lid. So, I'm going to put some foil paper. The reason we add foil is because we do use the foil paper, it locks in the steam. So it should steam cook. Can you see how the rice is eating up all the water? So a little bit more than I'm going to seal everything up when I'm confident. Is just sort of right. now for the technical part put it on really slow gas I would normally stick it in the oven but I really can't be bothered to turn the oven on heat it on put this on when really this, this will do the job because it's only a small amount of biryani and we have the stuff I'm going to have very hard, you have to be careful. There you go, slow gas, about 10 15 minutes, and it should be the business then. I know you're going to ask me how this chicken is. 
what happened to it, so I'm going to just show you now. So that's all cooked. There you go, all done. Cooked it on low heat for about 15 20 minutes, and there was one mistake I've added uh, the extra 100 ml of uh, water, which I should have not added. So that was my mistake, I should have not added the 100 ml of water. There you go. It is fine, it just needs to be mixed a bit. It's going to be a little soft because it had the 100 ml, but I'm going to give it a little. Uh, mix and then we'll see what happens from there yeah, and if, we, if I had some time I would have rested it for another 10 minutes 10-15 minutes so it gets a bit hardened but um, nonetheless it's very good but remember if you do it at home don't add that last 100 ml of water so please remember that thank you very the much. final product biryani chicken steaming away bay leaf we made our traditional Bengali salad we love it some poppadoms with it now we're gonna tuck in. So chicken biryani, and remember, don't add that last 100 ml of uh, water to get that perfect. Although it's fine as it is, and it's slightly a little bit soft, but it's nonetheless, it's very nice. And if it was to rest for another 10, 15 minutes, it would have been ideal. So enjoy. <laughs>